It's a sequel to H.G. Wells' The Time Machine, of which there are plenty. This one is notable because it was officially endorsed by the H.G. Wells estate, and it was released in 1995, exactly 100 years after the original. It picks up exactly where the original left off. The time traveler leaves for the year 800, 2000, or whatever, to rescue the little Eloy girl he had uh, left behind. But he finds himself in a future that is very different. There are more locks, but they are very intelligent and a highly technological society. It's not a great book, in some ways not even a good book, but it's memorable for a number of reasons. I often find myself wishing that authors would take their ideas and push them to their farthest conclusion. Baxter does this in the time ships, but he does it repeatedly, over and over, until it starts to get silly. There is one scene that has stuck in my mind all these years. The Morlocks ask the time traveler, how does your machine actually do this? And he starts to give them the same speech he gave in the original book about how if you consider time to be a fourth physical dimension, it's merely a matter of turning in that direction. And they say, yes, yes, we know all the theoretical geometry and all that, but how does your machine do it? In other words, they're having the very conversation with him that we, the readers, want to have. And as I recall, they never get a straight answer from him. Please remember to press that like button. It helps my videos get seen. And then subscribe so you can come back next time. I do science fiction book, TV, and movie reviews all the time. And please consider becoming a patron. There's a link in the description below.